Chords. Lovely. All right, guys, just kneeling, we'll do a couple of neck circles. So draw the shoulders back and down, and then we we'll go right ear to right shoulder. Feel out the stretch for a couple of seconds. Hi, Carly. And when you're ready, guys, just slowly roll chin to chest. Pausing here, keeping that chin nice and tucked. And then left ear to left shoulder. Lovely, guys. And just take it through three neck circles in each direction. If you come across a little bit of tightness or stiffness, just pause right on that little um, stretch until you feel it ease a little bit. Lovely, okay, when you're done, I'm just gonna get you to bring your right hand to the side of your head. And you're gonna just do a little bit of counter pressure here. So I'm gonna push into my hand and then push back with my hand and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So you should feel all the muscles just in here in the inside of your neck working. Same on the other side and pressure on for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Super stuff, just waking up all those neck muscles. Same thing, guys, at the front of the forehead. So interlock the fingers, take it to your forehead. You're gonna try and push your head into your hands and then push back with your hands. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, excellent guys. And the last one, take your hands to the back of your head and same thing, counter pressure. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff. Just bring those hands to the front and roll out your wrists for me. Lovely, and we'll come onto all fours for 10 wrist rocks forward. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And your 10th rep, guys, I want you to lean forward and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Just flip those palms to the sky, fingers facing your knees, and just take a nice little counter stretch here. So we'll just sit back and stretch on this one. You can even take some little uh, rock side to side. And just get a good stretch. You should feel it right through the front of the wrist and front of the hand. Excellent, guys. Shake it out for me. I'm going to turn you on your back next. We're just going to do a little bit of pelvic position and some core activation here. So lying on the back, you can bend your knees. Hands on your hips. I just want you to give me 10 pelvic rocks. So turn your tailbone down, creating a big arch, lots of space between your spine and the mat. And then tuck your tailbone, pulling your belly bone to your spine and creating a nice flat back with the mat. For 10 reps. And if you want to connect your breath, Exhale as you crunch that tummy. <sighs> 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 
Lovely, guys. So we're going to go for a hollow hold here. If you can, I'm going to ask if everybody for a long hollow hold. If, it, if that is a little bit too much for you, if you feel pressure on the lower back, you can bring your knees into a tuck position. So just quickly, I'm going to demo. So you're lying in a stretched out position on the floor. As you lay here naturally, you will have that arch in the back and space between your back and the mat. I want you to think about that same pelvic rock position. So from here, I'm going to tuck my tailbone and my arms and legs will lift naturally. So I'm not trying to lift my hands and my legs. I'm going to stretch out and focus on the pelvic rock. So tuck the tailbone and come into that really long hollow position. Hands and feet are relatively close to the mat. All right, and I'm going to come up and have a little look at you guys. And we're going to go for 10 seconds. All right. So the idea here is lengthen as you lie down. So everybody stretch your body as much as you can. And then we're going to really focus when I say go on the pelvic tilt and just allow your legs and arms to lift naturally. Three, two, one, off you go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Beautiful guys. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent and relax. We'll do that one more time. So you can see it's just a very shallow kind of our, our um, dish position. And when we're in our headstand, it's that same position you want to recreate. So if you can slightly see your toes, but they shouldn't be too high in the air. All right, let's go again. Big stretch, stretch the body as long as you can. And then just focus on crunching the abs, turning the tailbone up to the sky. Off we go for 10, nine, eight, beautiful, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really nice, guys. So that's again, in your start position, you have your long abs, and then we come to short abs which I'll talk about in our headstand later on as well. Roll over for me. We're going to come into an elbow plank. So you can keep your um, fingers interlocked. Elbows are under your shoulders. And when we get into our plank position, we're just going to hold it for 30 seconds first in that same hollow position. So I'm tucking my tailbone, creating nice short abs. And we go for 20 seconds here. Three, two, one, off you go. Think of a straight body from shoulder through to your hips. So Jackie, lower the hips a bit for me. Good, so you really wanna keep that straight line really nice. Five more seconds. T, if you can pull your tummy away from the floor slightly. There we go, and really crunch those abs for three, two, one, and relax. Very nice, guys. We're going to do a couple of pelvic tilts here. And again, if you do feel any strain on the low back, uh, just come to another hold position for me. Again, this is a, an awareness one. So from my hollow position, I'm going to turn my tail onto the sky and come back to my hollow position. So pelvic tilt. Now, it can create a little bit of pressure here. If you feel any pain in the low back, just hold for me again in your hollow position. All right, so we'll go for, let's just say five nice slow reps. And again, the idea here is an awareness drill to show you that when you do arch in that position, you should feel quite weak. Good, so try to avoid any movement through the shoulders, no rocking of the shoulders, really nice, Teresa. Jackie, you okay? Your knee is hurting, hurting. Lovely guys, did anyone feel, how did you feel in that arch position? You definitely felt, yeah, like weaker, kind of more pressure on the low back. More pressure, so exactly. So when you're in your headstand as well, you're gonna feel much more stable and stacked when you have the core tightened, nice short abs versus that arch position. 
All right, guys, really good work. And um, I'm just going to bring you into that plank position again. And now we're going to isolate the shoulder blades. And I want you to give me 10 scapula push ups in your elbow plank. All right, make sure to keep that tailbone tucked under nice short abs for 10 reps. Very nice. Slow and controlled. Perfect. And rest, guys. We're going to do one more exercise here. So from that plank position, we're going to push back to a kind of down dog position. You have a quick look at me here. So I'm in my plank. And then from here, I'm going to push through my shoulders, get a nice stretch in that open position, and back through again. Take a moment in that open shoulder position to get a nice little stretch. So we'll go for anywhere between seven to eight reps here. It's a little shoulder burn. Lovely. Really push through with the chest. That looks great from everybody. Okay, so coming up next, guys, we're going to make our way through nine different headstand little exercises or drills. If we get to any point where you don't feel comfortable doing the next one, just practice the previous one again. All right, so if we're doing like it's something with a tuck position and then I move to a straddle or pike and you feel you're just not quite there yet, just do another set of the previous one so that at least you're getting um, all the work done. Uh, first one, guys, I'm confident everybody can do this one. It's just our tuck hold, and we're going to go for 30 seconds on this one. So very quick recap. For all your headstand entries, guys, just remember to come in the same way. A good tripod position, lift the hips, walk your toes until your hips are nice and stacked, and it's easy to bring knee to elbow. And we're going to come to that tuck position here, nice and compact, pull the heels down. All right, and we're going to go for 30 seconds. We'll try and all get there together. So nice entry, guys. Walk those feet up until your hips are nice and stacked over the shoulders and your knees almost float up off the ground. Okay, clock is on. Lovely, Alex. Let's go for a compact tuck, guys. So keep the knees close as you can. Pull your heels to your butt cheeks. Beautiful T. Elbows should be stacked over those wrists. Really nice. Um, Carly, just keep the knees down, Carly, right there. Beautiful position from everybody. Five more seconds. And relax. All right, this next one is new, but it's from the tuck position. So I know you can hold that. And we're going to add in a little bit of a toe tap. So back into our tuck. And from here, I'm going to bring one foot to the floor and back up. And I'm going to go for 10 reps or 20 seconds and see if I can use my coordination and balance to do some toe taps for fun. If, if not, guys, just stick with your tuck hold again for 20 or 30 seconds. This will challenge the hamstrings a little bit. Good, point those toes. Very nice, Alex. Super donal, as I said, it's gonna to be tough on the hamstrings because you're coming into that pike compression. 
Lovely T. Keep one heel pulled to your bum as you reach the floor with the opposite foot. Really good, Carly. Well done. Super, Alex. <laughs> Hamstrings are super tight. Yeah, that one definitely will challenge those hamstrings. All right, guys, our next one I think we have done before, but maybe not much of, and it's going to be just a straddle hold. So from the tuck position, all that happens is we're going to kick those knees straight out to the side. So coming back to our headstands, into our tuck from here, I'm just going to straighten my knees and see if I can hold in my straddle position for 20 to 30 seconds. So come through the same steps. Walk the hips up, knees to elbow, into a good tuck position. And once you're in that tuck, guys, all you do is straighten out those legs. Beautiful, Jackie. So the heels are staying at hip height. Lovely, we'll say clock is on. And whatever you feel good, Anna. And let's get some tension in those legs, guys. Squeeze the quads, point the toes. Point the toes the other way, Alex. <laughs> there you go. Excellent, guys. 10 seconds, beautiful shape from everybody. Kylie, you can lift the heels a little bit higher for me. There you go. Three, two, one. Nice, guys. That looks pretty easy for everyone. Excellent. All right. Rest and shake it out as much as you need. What we're going to do next is go between our tuck and our straddle. So we're just going to see if you guys can use your balance stability to move the legs in and out of those two positions. So up we go. Knees to elbow. From here, I'm going to straddle back to tuck, straddle, back to tuck, and see if you can get anywhere between five to 10 reps. In between your sets, guys, if you need to stretch out the neck or the wrists, and let me know if I'm going too fast, super Jackie. Very nice, Donal. Lovely, Teresa. Good, Carly. Lovely, guys. And I'm just going to bring awareness back to a position here. Um, it might even be the case for myself, but I'm seeing... I, Jackie, you actually have a lovely, nice, straight spine in your headstand. But I'm even actually feeling a little bit of kind of stress or pressure here. And from watching a couple of the other shapes, guys, we're quite rounded. We have this round back position in our headstand. So I'm going to just strip it back a little bit and see if we can all find a straighter position with our spine when we're in the headstand. And to do so, I'm going to ask you, because a lot of people, your, the hips are tucked under, we're going to turn our tailbone up to the sky when we're in that headstand. So I'll come from this angle. So rather than being here, I want you to lift those hips and see if you can get this straighter position rather than this rounded position. You can see here it's round versus straight. Or at least I think you can. So let's just try and lengthen that tailbone in your headstand and create a nice straight spine. Just hold for a couple of seconds. But I want you to really untuck those hips. Beautiful, Jackie. Now, Carly, lift the hips up. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Much, much better, Carly. Such a better position. Yes. And Teresa, way better. Alex, excellent, and Anna, nice guys, really good fix. You can give me a little bit of feedback if that felt better. Look so much better, Carly. 
and Alex. Super work. Whew. I'm certainly feeling that. It does add a little bit more compression on the spine when you start to move the legs around. Super, Teresa. Love that. Carly, that looks so much better. Oh, it felt so much better as well. Yeah, because when you round over, it just puts a lot of pressure here. Whereas if we can straighten it up. Um, okay, doke, guys. So take as much rest as you need. I'm going to demo our next one. And it's going to be our straddle position again. But we're going to go for some side to side toe taps in your straddle. I think we have done this one before as well. So again, coming up. Lift up into this position, legs go out, and then you're going to drop one toe back to the center, drop the other toe back to the center, and so on. I'm a little tight for space here, but you'll feel the pressure moving in your hands on this one as you go side to side. So have a go, see how it feels. And if I can give you a little tip, moving subtly with the feet. So nice, slow and controlled movement. Nice, Jackie. Always coming back to your start position. Good, Donal. And try not to let those uh, hips fall and round over. Pick them back up each time. Nice, Anna. Oh, my hips are too tight for this today. Are you, oh, your hips killing you. <laughs> And that straddle position is going to pull on your hip flexors a lot. Good, Carly. Loving the shapes that everyone is creating. Very nice. Ooh. Let me know guys if you're feeling okay or if you need a break. We are spending a lot of time on our heads. Very nice. Our next one, we're simply bringing it back to our tackle times. Okay, just a headstand hold guys. So I'm gonna push this one out and see if we can get 60 seconds in your headstand with a nice hollow position. So bringing it up, up to our tuck, send those legs up, squeeze the glutes, and we'll hang out here for 60 seconds if possible. Anywhere from 30 to 60. We only have about four minutes of practice left, so we're nearly there. Off we go. Lovely, Jackie. Lift those heels a little bit higher towards the wall, Jackie, if you can. Very nice. Beautiful, um, Carly. Lovely, Donald. Good, Alex. Nice, Anna. T, can you lift your heels a little bit? There we go. Keep lifting. Beautiful right there. Super, guys. We're at the 30 second mark. So anything extra here is a bonus. Very nice. Breathe. Nice deep breath. You can relax a little bit. It's the first time I'm off the wall, so I was... T, I was just going to say. <laughs> I could have stayed, but I start saying to myself, shit, you're off the wall. <laughs> Three, two, one. That was excellent. And I know when I was telling you to lift your feet... Away, yeah. I'm thinking, gosh, she's not in front of a wall here. <laughs> I was a little bit cautious because I thought I was going to go. So. Yeah. Good. Really nice, guys. All right, and we're going to finish up with a couple of negatives. And you guys have three options here to come from your headstand. And we're going to go a slow count of 10 seconds, if you can. So you can think five seconds from the top to halfway and then five seconds from halfway back to the floor. Okay, and you can come down through your tuck, 
through a straddle and through a pike. Okay, tuck is the easiest, followed by straddle, followed by pike. So 10 second tempo on the way down. I'm just gonna demo with a three second tempo just so I can do them all. So the first one will be coming down five seconds to halfway, all the way into a tuck back to the floor. Then you'd have your straddle. So coming as wide as you can for five. So I'm a little stuck for space and then turning those toes really slow back to the floor. And then your pike, five seconds to halfway and five seconds to the floor. All right, so you can do all three or you can pick your favorite one or one that you're trying to work on. And we have about, let me see, two, two minutes or so, two or three minutes. Jane, don't give me a demo, but what was the first one? Tuck. So from, Tuck. yeah, so just pulling your knees and heels down all the way back. You can go knees to elbow to finish that one, actually. Okay, thank you. 